My name is Christian Ravensburg and I work out of the Danish office of Firma Fisher Scientific. Uh, we mainly work on data interpretation and separation and ionization of uh, biomolecules. So we're here in Boston at, at Hooper this year and we're presenting some very interesting research about uh, data interpretation and also a new product that we had about ionization of molecules that we think will really help the initiative to do a complete proton coverage of, of the human which I think will really change the way we look at diseases and human health in general. Well, I think data interpretation has been seen as one of the major challenges in, in the whole workflow. And it's always difficult to deal with these big amounts of data. There are many things you have to, to take into account, but I think it's something that we're getting better and better at. Um, in our research specifically, we, we work with the last part of, of the whole workflow, meaning, so how do you get biological sense out of your data? How, when you have those huge lists of proteins, how do we make sure that it comes into a biological context, diseases, environment? And that's something we, we, we focus on in, in our research. Really fundamental challenge with dealing with these type of data is the fact that we base our results on databases that are out there on the web. And these databases, they change over time. So it's protein sequence databases, what most proteomic scientists base their identification on. And the fact that they change over time and there are different ones uh, makes it difficult to deal with data because we don't have a golden standard. And that's something we've been working with for a long time to take in these databases and consolidate them so that our customers can have you know, identification from one database, you could say, and then compare them with their collaborators or other people in the field that used another database for their data identification search. And I think it's very crucial for us to come together and actually be able to compare results even though we use quite different workflows. We're really trying to, to consolidate the data so you can actually you know, compare the results. The poster that we present here today is, is about the real big data challenge that stand in front of us. And we think we make a step towards getting closer to actually integrating all the data types that we have out there. So specifically the poster is about integrating proteomics data together with the transcriptomics data. And uh, we've shown that it's actually possible to take the two different technologies together and do pathway analysis and do statistical enrichment of different functionalities and come up to a conclusion that, you know, use information from both these two worlds. And I think that's really important for us going forward.